Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about three different ways to sterilize your soil. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now basically, behind me I have got one of my indoor growing spaces and what I'm planning to do is scrap all of that soil, sterilize it completely and then I'm going to start my process of growing my winter and autumn veg. Now some of this soil I've left for about a month or so with nothing growing in it so I need to kind of refresh it a little bit but I'm going to show you how I sterilize this soil. The reason why I am sterilizing it is because there is every chance that there could be some aphid or fungus gnat eggs in that soil. Now it's not been used in over a month or so, it's dried out completely. So I know that if there were fungus gnat larvae in there, they would have died off completely because there's absolutely no moisture in that soil whatsoever. But the thing with fungus gnat and aphid eggs is they can survive in dry soil for quite some time before the eggs actually hatch. What I could do is completely dispose of that soil and start all over again. But what I have learned is whenever I buy new soil, that new soil, nine times out of 10, has got aphid or fungus gnat eggs in it anyway. So I go through this process when I'm starting my seeds, either with brand new compost or if I'm just refreshing some old compost. As you can see, my indoor grow area is a complete mess. All I'm doing is filling this yellow container with all the leftover soil. Now I've given the shelves a wipe down and you can see there's almost 20 litres worth of compost from those little seed trays. What I'm going to do now is sift out any big parts, any twigs, anything like that and break everything up completely. Now there are three options. Let's start with number one. For option number one, you need to grab yourself an oven proof dish. Then you want to place your sifted soil into that dish. Spray it with some water. Then you want to grab some aluminium foil, put that on top of your dish. It can help to make steam in that dish. You want to put that dish into the oven for around about 30 to 40 minutes at 180 degrees. Once it's done, remove it from the oven and then leave it to cool. And once it's cooled down a bit, you can start to use your soil. Number two, you can actually do the same process in the microwave. For me, I don't know. There's something about putting your soil into a microwave that I don't particularly like the sound of but it does work. So what you wanna do is you wanna grab your soil, put it into a microwavable container or a Ziploc bag, place it in the microwave, and then you want that soil to get again to around about 180 to 200 degrees. Leave it till it gets to room temperature and then you can use that soil. Option number three is hands down my favorite. In this method, we're gonna use boiling water and steam all you need to do is place your soil in the container and then add boiling hot water. Now you've got to be careful because you don't want to add too much to make it a soup. You want to add just enough to get it to kind of clump together. Then use a spoon or something similar to stir it around so that the soil is fully saturated. You then want to grab your aluminium foil and then cover the soil. Slightly press it down and compact it so that the heat will stay trapped. Leave it to get to room temperature and then you can use it. Because we've already used water in this, you now don't need to re-water that soil to start your seed sowing. Now that that's done, I've got the perfect soil to start my seed starting indoors. I hope you've learned something new today. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Bye!